Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is part 64 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. Today we've got two potentially title deciding uh, matches against Chelsea away from home and one against Arsenal at home. As you can probably see, things are going absolutely fantastically Look at that for a bit of green. We've won our last 14 matches um, in the league, which is which is awesome. And, uh, you know, we're unbeaten since the, the third game of the season. And, uh, well, since you last uh, were with me when we beat, uh, I believe it was Man United 4-2. Uh, we beat Newcastle United 1-0. Very important result. Uh, I think it was Sir Alex Ferguson that, that said, you know, that the matches that win you the title are those 1-0s. And have a little look at this. Uh, we beat Crystal Palace 1-0 as well with Calvert-Lewin scoring there. We then beat Brighton 3-2. Very important result. Neymar, Calvert-Lewin and Tam Abraham score in there. Uh, we then beat, had three consecutive 1-0 victories against Watford, Leicester and Sheffield United. And most recently we beat Blackburn 5-0. Away from home, John Reyes getting two, Luis Suarez getting a goal, Oscar Garcia and Andreas Christensen. So you'll see uh, a name there. Don't worry, it's not that Luis Suarez. Um, a brand new player that we've brought in. Uh, as as a part exchange, Max Aaron's wanted to leave, so um, we brought in Luis Suarez uh, for thirty million plus Max Aaron's. I know that's a lot of money, but he scored eighteen goals in nineteen appearances for Brighton so far this season. So I thought it was very important uh, to try and get him on board and and uh, try and help our title challenge because hey, thirty million is nothing if if he scores the winning goal to win the title. That's certainly my opinion on it all anyway. And he uh, scored a goal in that FA Cup match uh, last time out. So uh, yeah, really, really uh, happy with that. Um, we have had uh, a few sort of transfer dealings uh, going on. Pardon me. Uh, we'll have a look at the ins. Um, I'm not going to bring in Jose Gaia from Manchester United uh, just until the end of the season, really. Uh, 10.75 million. You know, he's still got very good attributes. 31 years old, title winning experience. He's been at Man United the last two years. Joined from Valencia for £69 million pounds two years ago. Uh, and on the outgoings, there, there are a, a, a few uh, rumbling in the air. Mulder's wanted on loan, uh, Bogard is, is going out, and, and the big one really is Neymar. Neymar has asked to move back to Brazil this transfer window. His contract does expire at the end of the year. We've said we'll let him go if we get 2.5 million for him, which is crazy for Neymar. I mean, look at that value now. Um, he is declining quite a lot but funnily enough he's having his best season ever um you know not in terms of goals necessarily but certainly in terms of what he's doing for the team he's performing well week in week out he's assisted six already which is his second highest total since he's joined the club um you know and, and we're only 14 games in uh to the season for him so yeah uh it'll be sad to see him go of course he is the club captain but uh, we've had an excellent five years with uh, with Neymar, and potentially it is uh, the 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 time to say goodbye, if you like. He's uh, you know we're we're trying to use him less and less this year, and I think that's helping him um, perform well when he is called upon. But we'll just have to see. Uh, he'll he'll be going at the end of the year either way, I would imagine, unless he he does want to stay. And he is thirty four now. Uh, and declining, as I say, but he is still a very important player um, for me, at, at the very least. So, yeah, that's that's certainly an interesting one. Uh, so, yeah, all of that means we are currently five points clear at the top of the Premier League, which is awesome um, at this stage. We were top of Christmas, uh, top at New Year, of course, and, uh, hey, if we win two matches today... We are going to be uh, in a really, really strong position. We've got the two top goal scorers in the league at the club, um, and, and hopefully we can we can keep it going for the rest of the season. Now, Romelu Lukaku, by the way, has an excellent average rate, and he, he's already scored ten in fifteen for for Chelsea, which is uh, is very, very strong form indeed. And 
I mean, he's he's the same age as Neymar, pretty much, and he is tearing up the Premier League still. What a player uh, Romelu Lukaku is. But, uh, yeah, let's have a little look at squad performances. Top goal scorer is, of course, uh, John Reyes with 17 from 18 uh, starts. We've then got six for Tammy Abraham, four for Oscar Garcia. So that is kind of the worry. If John Reyes doesn't score, who else is scoring? That's why I've brought in a proven goal scorer for this season. Uh, top assists is Neymar uh, with eight and then six for Oscar Garcia. Four each for Good, Rice, Madison, v Villela. Uh, uh, sorry, and, and Madison, two for Valella, two for Estevez, and you, you can see down top average rating is, of course, um, John Reyes with a 7.25, 7.16 there as well for Neymar. So he is our second best player of the season so far. So I've just realised I haven't played all the way up uh, to the match, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay then, here we are for with the team for today. Then we've got Costa in goal with Estevez, Williamson, Bai and Gaia in defence. We've then got Rice and Endombele in the middle of the park with Oscar Garcia and Neymar starting wide of John Reyes and Tammy Abraham up top. So let's get into it then. Uh, Luis Suarez is injured unfortunately so we can't... Um, we can't use him, but that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, Mulder has gone out on loan. I think that'll be a good move for him. Greco's gone back on, on loan as well. So, you know, there are a couple of... Um, you know, that there, there, there are a couple of players going out on loan, getting a bit of experience, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to this against Chelsea. 3 uh, one, I think we beat them last time out at Stamford Bridge. Uh, of course, we lost on the opening day of the season to them. So it, it's a, it's an important match for us. It's a grudge match. And here's Neymar with a free kick. Norman Williamson uh, was there straight away. He has Gaia now on his debut, of course, uh, in an Aston Villa shirt. Gets it to Eric Bay now back to Gaia. And that was, that was poor. Too much dilly-dallying for my liking. Here's Abraham now, Reyes. Rice, Declan Rice to Oscar Garcia, Garcia out wide to Estevez now, come on, get a shot on goal, and on belly with the header, and it's 1-0, and Tangai end on belly, who, bless him, hasn't really played much this season, he's had quite a few injury problems, but we've brought him back into the team today in the Mazala role, and uh, that was a wonderful header, and uh, that was like Paul Pogba, um, uh, at this point last season, unfortunately, Pogba's just not picked up the same level of uh, of football this season, and and you know we're not looking to to play him too too often, which is a shame because he is costing us an arm and a leg in terms of wages. Oh, that was a poor tackle. It wasn't in the box though. That was definitely outside the box. You can see where the ball is. There's no way that was inside the box. So. It is just going to be a free kick, but it's in a very inviting area. Very, very inviting area. So, let's see. What? They've awarded that. There's no way that was inside the box. I'm sorry. Mason Mount steps up. Oh, and it hits the bar, and he's very, very lucky there. That's a huge shame. Because I think that was undeserved. Uh, there was no question it was a foul, um, but yeah, apparently inside the box. That's controversial. Here's Estevez. Asensio gets it away. Now he has Mason Mount. This isn't good. Oh, but Morgan Williamson has been an excellent signing, to be fair, and that's uh, that's well snuffed out. Here's Oscar Garcia looking to make up for giving away that penalty. Estevez, and it's Je Declan Rice. End on belly, headed it down, and... Oh, it's where you hope that it falls to your, your star striker, John Reyes, right there. But it didn't happen. And here's a free kick for Chelsea. This is a chance for them. It's uh, Pulisic with the, the free kick, and it's it's wide. Uh, he'll be very, very disappointed with that. Here's Gaia now to uh, end on belly to Dom uh, Declan Rice to Gaia again. No idea if it's Gaia or Gaia. I'm going to go for Gaia, actually. Here's Rice. Asensio gets it forward. Here's Puglisi. Oh, it's a good save from Diogo Costa. And uh, luckily, luckily we're all right. 
but it's a corner. Pulisic gets it in. Puglisi was there, but Rice got it away. Now he has John Reyes, but we couldn't materialise the counter-attack there. He has Gea, gets it forward. Abraham, Tammy Abraham now running wide with it. This is a great run from him. Garcia, Rice, he has Endombele. Neymar, what a goal that is from Neymar. We were talking about him and what an important player Neymar is in, in, in our system and as our captain. And that's exactly why he can still pull off the very special moments like that. Endombele has had an excellent game as well. What a finish from Neymar. And we're going to be 2-1 up on Chelsea at half-time. What an important result this could be. We're just going to have our hands in the pocket, look cool, say don't get complacent out there because that's exactly not what we want to do. Okay, we've won however many matches in a row in the Premier League, but it could all turn around if we don't hold on to the victory here. Morachini, what a finish at the start of this second half. And straight away, they're right back in it. And that is a, a big shame. Oscar Garcia. Oh, he's taking a knock. Yeah, we're going to have to put Soloth on, which isn't ideal because Soloth hasn't really um, fit in to, to, to what we what we want to do at the club. He's, he's not been scoring goals, but hey, it's, it's an opportunity for him today. It really is. He has gear, and that's a terrible throw. Oh, Norman Williamson gets it away, thankfully. Oh, and Dombele trying his best. Oof, that's over the bar. But that was that was very, very nervy. Oh, and Eric Bay suffered a knock now. We've got Declan Rice on the bench uh, um on the pitch, so we can move him back to centre back, and I think I'll do that. He has Gear. Gear now Neymar. Oh, what a save. Point blank from the goalkeeper there. That was brilliant. Uh, Declan Rice is going to go back into central defence and we're going to bring on Hady Henry, I think. Yeah, that looks good to me as our box-to-box. Hmm, -box. we definitely take a draw today. You know, if you'd offered me a draw at the start, I would have accepted that. Of course, it ruins the streak of victories, but it keeps the unbeaten streak going. Here's Romelu Lukaku. We were talking about him before and that was a great shot but uh, just over the bar. So let's encourage the boys. We're just going to stick to our guns, stick to our play style for this last 10 minutes. It's a corner for Chelsea. Asensio into the middle. Lukaku's there. Oh, it's gone in. It's bumbled around the box. And Chelsea have scored. And that could be a huge moment in our season. It really could be. Because... You know, with the the best will in the world, we have not played well today. But we we were ahead twice, and just haven't managed it in the end. Here's Asensio, and this could be another Chelsea goal coming here. Lukaku, Henry gets it. Estevez away now. Smith Rowe, who's asked for an extended run in the first team. Show me why. Smith Rowe gets it in. It's Neymar again. The captain saves us at the end here. What a brilliant goal that was from Neymar. Fifth goal of the season for him. And Emile Smith Rowe, bless him, the legs on that bloke. He ran the length of the pitch. It was an excellent uh, crossover and an excellent little flick on there by Soloth. And there's a highlight straight away here. Are our hearts going to be broken again? Or are we going to get the winner? Here's Morachini. Lukaku. I think that's offside. Is it? It's not. This is just insane. What is going on here? How is that not even questioned? Let's have a look at this. Morachini. Excellent deep cross. And yeah, well, Lukaku was well onside there. And it's 4-3 now. And we're going very attacking again. We're going to berate the boys. Can we get one more chance? It doesn't look like it's going to happen. And Chelsea have beaten us. What a big day that could be in the title race. It's not only ended our unbeaten run. It has, you know, potentially ended our title fight. I know we're two points clear, but that is huge. 
because we needed to keep the momentum up. As I said, these are two big, potentially title-deciding games. 16 games undefeated we have been. Um, but unfortunately, that's come to an end today. But we are still two points clear. And all will be forgiven if we go and thump Arsenal. Well, here we are then for the Arsenal match. Not too many changes for this one. But uh, we have uh, brought in Lucas at left-back because Gea was uh, quite tired. Um, Declan Rice and Tom Good uh, are in the middle of the park. And uh, Luis Suarez comes in for his first on-camera appearance uh, to partner John Reyes up top. Now, Reyes was very, very quiet in the last match. But um, hopefully, hopefully... This match, you know, he's at home in front of the Villa Park faithful, absolutely packed arena. Um, so hopefully we can we can pull it off, um, in this in in this match. But it, it is going to be tough against Arsenal. You know, they're although they're seventh in the league, they are very much, um, still a top six side in this save. Here's Garcia, at the moment now Rice. What's Rice going to do with it? He gets it to Estevez. Estevez to Rice. He has Neymar. Back to Good. Neymar. He has Garcia. And that's just not quite the, the final product that we wanted there. He has Estevez. Now Rice. Oh, that's a very poor pass from Declan Rice. And that's a great ball forward. And Darwin puts Arsenal 1-0 up. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, it's offside. So that's, that's a big one. Because that could have been the moment but uh, he was slightly offside so of course rules are rules um, somebody's took a knock and it's Neymar and I think we'll have to take him off that's a decent ball forward from Reyes good header away Garcia forward to Suarez and that should have been 1-0 uh, who are we going to bring on I'm thinking Calvert-Lewin just to give us something a bit different out wide. Because we're not penetrating at the moment. Ferran into the middle. Richarlison hits the post. That was a huge chance for, for Arsenal. We're going to go attacking now. He has Reyes. No. It's Rice. Lucas. Gets it forward to Calvert-Lewin now. What a cross. And Reyes is there. And how has he missed that? How has he missed that? That was a huge chance for John Reyes. Oh, dear. Well, here's Otavio. Gets it forward. Norman Williamson away. What a header away that was. Here's Reyes. Now Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin pushing down the left-hand side. Oh, and that's a penalty, I think. I think it's a penalty. It may well be overturned. But at the very least, it's been blown and a penalty has been given. Who's going to step up and take it? Thomas Estevez. Oh, and he scores. Well, I would never, ever have picked him to be the man that took the penalty. But what a moment this could be. We go 1-0 up against Arsenal. They've had a disallowed goal. We've missed some very, very clear-cut chances. But we're 1-0 up, and that's what matters. Here's Reyes at the start of the second half. Rice now. Rice gets it forward to Garcia. Garcia in. Calvert-Lewin's there, and it's 2-0. And that gives us our cushion that we were looking for. An excellent finish from DCL there. That was brilliant. And uh, it was all started with a wonderful uh, cross from Oscar Garcia, which, you know, was, was a fairly early cross as they come. But uh, we go 2-0 up now. Here's Lucas with a corner into the middle. Norman Williamson was there and it hits the bar. And now here's Suarez. Bye. And no, nope, nothing there. Right then, probably want to make a change or two. Just to freshen the legs a little bit because it's a very congested fixture list. Here's Richarlison. 2-1. Mm, Suarez not having the best of games, so I'm going to put Tammy Abraham up top. But, um, yeah, that's that's disappointing. We're still on attack, and that's my bad there. Uh, should have been back down to positive there. So we'll go down to balanced. 
Uh, Declan Rice can come off for Hady Henry. Why not? We got 20 minutes left. We gotta hang on here. This is huge for our title ambitions. Liverpool are winning elsewhere. Chelsea and Ars uh, Chelsea and Tottenham are, are drawing at the moment. I'm gonna go cautious now. Oh, Oscar Garcia wins it back. Here's Reyes. Oh, that was a chance. Williamson. Bye. Gets it forward. Calvert Lewin, who's took a knock now. Here's Abraham. Whoever their right back is must uh, be crunching in the tackles today. Here's John Reyes. John Reyes. Calvert Lewin over the bar. If he if he was fully fit, would he have managed to, to score that? Well, Tom Good's gone off now. Potential groin injury. This is a disaster. Um, well, what do we do here? I guess John Reyes comes back into the midfield. Abraham goes there. And we have to play with ten men now. We have to play with ten men. But thankfully the full-time whistle goes and we pick up the three points against Arsenal. I think we, you know, we were by far the better side today. We deserved that victory. And uh, it helps us, you know, it helps us massively. Three points in the bag, we stay top. Um, we got a big match coming up. Look at all this, little injuries. And, you know, if we look at the squad on a whole, we've got lots of little knocks in there. And that, that could be a problem going forward. But we're just going to have to have to hope for the best with all of that. Um, we have got Manchester City coming up next. And then quite uh, the run of games before... Uh, the big ones, really. So, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll I'll see when I come back. I'm not going to say for definite. Um, but you know, worst case scenario it might be this tre tre treble header here with Tottenham, Man United, and Liverpool. Potentially, we'll we'll look at that. Um, but that's quite a lot of games in between. We'll see how the FA Cup goes as well. Because hey, if we win the the title and the uh the FA Cup this year, then the only thing to achieve is the treble after that, so that would be rather nice. Uh, but there you go, that's where we'll leave it for today. If you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for daily FM content from a Monday to a Friday, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.